In this video we are going to create this crystal break effect. I will also leave at the end of the video a button to download this prototype to import in your Unity project. Fully functional with models, textures and sounds. Consider subscribing to this channel and let's start making the objects in Blender. First I'm going to create the glass. Just starting with the default cube and in the edit mode scale down in the Z axis to make it thinner. Make sure that the scale in object mode is normalized. Video in the corner. Add a new material to the object, let's call it glass, we will make this material transparent in Unity. Now let's create the shattered glass. For that I'll duplicate this object, change its name, then press F3 and search for cell fracture. If you can't find that option, you will need to activate the add-on. Adjust the parameters and then apply it to get the pieces of the glass. I'm going to select all the pieces and enlarge them a little bit using the individual origins option. This is so that the mesh colliders we're going to assign in Unity overlap with each other and that way Unity naturally will apply forces to separate them. To finish, create an empty object and parent all these pieces to it so that it's easy to handle them. Be in the corner with more information. That would be all to make in Blender. Before continuing with the Unity part, please consider subscribing to support this content. In Unity, let's create a new material, set the rendering mode as transparent and adjust the alpha and other parameters. Then to add this material to the 3D model, I suggest you select the 3D model, go to the materials tab, drag the new material here and apply to overgrade the material in the 3D model. Go to the model tab and check the generate colliders checkbox. Now drag the 3D model to the scene. Select all the pieces of the glass, check the convex checkbox of the mesh collider and add a rigid body component to all of the pieces. Let's turn off the pieces and hit play. The first glass is there, let's turn this glass off and turn the pieces parent object on. So this will be our broken glass effect, we just need to do what we have just done inside the script when the ball hits the glass. For detailed information on how to detect collisions in Unity, I suggest you check this other video in the corner, because now we are going to solve this problem very quickly. Create a new script and assign it to the not broken glass object, because it's the object that the ball will hit. Make sure that it's the object with the collider. Inside the script, let's define a game object type variable to store the parent of the glass pieces and in Unity assign that object in that variable. Back again in the script, define the onCollisionEnter function and inside activate the parent object and deactivate this game object, the one that this script is assigned. That would be all. Hit play and if everything is correct, it should work. With this button, you can go to the page to download the prototype, fully functional with models, textures and sounds. It's free, but you have the option to donate to support my content. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I see you in the next video.